Does creatine make you bold? You've probably heard it at the gym or on social media. So today, let's tackle the big question, does creatine cause hair loss? This one's for you if you're pounding those shakes, but low-key terrified that you're sacrificing your hairline in search for those gains. I'm Dr. Cena, a dermatologist who gets this question every time, and here's the real science, no bro science here. First up, what is creatine? It's a natural compound found in your muscles and brain and plays a crucial role towards energy production, especially important in high-intensity exercise. Creatine supplements come in all forms, powders, pills, gummies, and my protein is a big brand in this. It's no wonder that they're a go-to for athletes and bodybuilders. And why? They help you push harder, break more muscle fibers, and eventually get bigger muscles. But here's the part which really freaks people out. Does taking creatine mean that you're taking on a thinner hairline too? Now let's define what we mean by hair loss. There are many different types of hair loss which have different causes. But specifically when it comes to creatine, we are thinking about male or female pattern hair loss, which is what most sports people are concerned about. This is driven by the conversion of testosterone into a similar compound called dihydrotestosterone in the scalp. Dihydrotestosterone can shrink hair follicles and shorten the growth phase called anagen and just overall be bad for hair growth. But does creatine drive this process towards conversion to DHT or dihydrotestosterone? The landmark study which got people really concerned was one in 2009, an article published which looked at the concentration of testosterone and DHT after a three week period in rugby players supplementing with creatine. After just seven days of creatine loading, DHT levels increased by 56%. However, during the maintenance phase where participants took 5 gram of creatine per day, DHT levels dropped to 40% above baseline after two weeks and after three weeks dropped to only 22% over baseline. Now here's the kicker. This study measured DHT in the blood and not the scalp where hair loss really matters. So what's the takeaway? Let's break it down. First, in the grand scheme of things, this was a tiny study, just 20 participants. Second, the results have not been replicated by another study in over a decade. And finally, while DHT levels spike during the loading phase, well, in the maintenance phase, they drop quite quickly. If you're repeatedly loading and unloading creatine, which is quite unusual anyway, then yeah, you may be causing DHT spikes. But even that's speculative. And just remember that this study didn't look at hair loss. It just looked at DHT levels in the blood. So for now, there's no solid evidence that creatine directly causes hair loss. Stick to your routine and don't let bro science scare you away from those gains. If you're really concerned about hair loss, really focus on factors which may help your hair. For example, good nutrition avoiding smoking, managing stress, and considering hair strengthening shampoos. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Are you supplementing with creatine and have you noticed any hair loss? Drop a comment below and let's chat about it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, kindly subscribe, and let's keep busting those myths on skincare. Till then, keep those gains and keep that hair strong.